Bro, when I came out of jail, a lot of my old friends turned on me. I had so many so-called brethrens, bro. When I went in, I saw the true colours. Yeah, like, You couldn't even send me a canteen money. Like, I got a boy that's lifed off right now for a crime he didn't even do. He didn't even commit the M. And he got 37 years minimum. I try my best to help him as much as I can. I ain't forgotten him. He's been in like 10 years. But where's all his other brethrens, though? That's the question. 28 days, bro, they kept us behind the door with no showers, no nothing. They'd bring hot food to the door that's already turned cold. Corona in jail wasn't a joke, you know. I'd rather be broke than go back to my old life. Because sitting in jail is a f***ing joke. Slow money's better than no money. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to The Blue Tick Show. Opposite me today, I've got Rambo. Rambo went to six prisons. You heard that right. Six prisons prisons my brother man i'm glad to be here it's a privilege we finally got it you're here welcome to the show firstly thank you for coming listen i saw you i saw some clips of you on tick on instagram and i was like i need to get this guy on here <laughs> listen some of the stories oh, you had were mad i know and it's mad that you're sitting here opposite me today with some of the shit you've gone through yeah so most of the people who have gone through it turn back to the shit they've done in the past and then five months later, six months later, they're back in prison. 100%. You know, the funny thing is when I was in prison, people kept telling me that. They're like, yeah, 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 you're going to go legit, whatever. A few months, you're going to go back and the cycle will continue. I was like, nah, you guys don't know me. I've got a strong mindset, been through a lot. So there's no way on earth that I will make a deal with God and, and reject the deal with God, you know? I've learned the hard way. Nah, definitely. Day, I've learned the hard way. And before we started speaking as well, you told me a little bit about, obviously, you have opportunities to turn back and you haven't. But listen, there's many viewers out there who are probably thinking, who's this Rambo guy? Mikey's got on Rambo, da 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 da. Rambo, tell them a little bit about yourself, your upbringing, and then we'll dive into the prison stories because obviously no I want to touch on that. No problem. So, me personally, I was born in Chelsea Hospital. Um, my father came to this country as a refugee to give us a better life. As back in Iraq, it, it wasn't really, you don't get much opportunities there, you know? So, he went through the hardship to get over here in the craziest way possible. God bless his soul. He's not with us today. He died when I was seven. Wow. Yeah, so he did He did a lot for us. It wasn't just us as well. He brought his whole family over here. Like one by one, like a good 20 people. He got them, yeah, passports, passports, passports. Literally brought over here. But that's not easy to do. No, it's so not. He... It's hard already to get over here, but then to bring your family over now, it's hard. But in those days, it was much easier than it is now. Now it's impossible to get your yeah. family member or passport to come over here. But yeah, he went through the, them struggles, but then at the age of seven, he left us. Uh, today, I won't be touching up that topic about what happened back home when we went there when I was seven, but I don't mind speaking about my upbringing, you know, like when I was from like the age of 12, going to so prison. Let's skip the little part about back home and stuff, because yeah, obviously yeah. I know there's reasons we don't want to bring it up. No. Let's move aside. So what age did you come back to the UK? I came back to the UK at the age of nine. Back to UK yeah. at nine. So talk to us from nine years old onwards. If so, anyone does want to know what happened back home, there's a previous podcast. You can go and watch that and hear about that there. So at the age of nine, I saw my mother as someone that needed a man to help her out. And I know I was only nine, but for some reason, God gave me a brain of a grown man at that age. In my head, I was just thinking, okay, you are the man of the house. Even though you're still a child, you are the man of the house. Like there'll be so many situations I'll be walking with my mom. Someone will try chat to her or whatever. I would jump in front of them. Like, yo, who are you chatting to? Yeah, yeah. And I'm only a kid these times, you know, but I had that, you know what ghira means? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, ghira, people that know what ghira means is someone that's protected over their, their female family members, their wives, whatever. I had, I was very protective over them. So it just felt like, like I needed to be there for them. And who, who was in the home when you was nine? Who was, who, it part? was just me, my two sisters and my mom at this point. Okay. She was a single mother with three kids. But then, like, three, four, three years later, my, my stepdad came through, and he was a very good man. He's still with us today. I classify him as my dad, you know. Yeah. But just for the view's purposes, I say stepdad. Like, that man has helped out a lot, and he gave us two brothers as well. I've got two half-brothers. Oh, That's why it's four brothers. You don't call them half-brothers. But, yeah, when I was, like, 10, 11, there was, like, a lot of, like, gang members in my area. You know, like everyone was doing their thing. And as I what said, where are you from? From Wembley. Okay. As I said in the past, yeah, it's funny how like all of us like never had fathers, everyone that was together and from, from the ends, you know, like it was funny, like no one had like, either they left them or they died or whatever. It's like, like everyone linked up around that reason. But everyone was in it for one thing. They were trying to get money, you know? They yeah. wanted to make it out the hood. That's what everyone's yeah, about. Yeah, everyone's dream was to make it out the hood and everyone did it in their own ways, whatever. But me, from a young age, I had that mentality to grind. He was hungry. Hungry, like very hungry. 
And some people had their mentality just to ride out, just to get a name for themselves. Go do this to someone, go do that to someone. So people will know, yeah, I'm the tough guy, rare, 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 this and that. Me, I mixed both. But my main focus was money. But anyone that crossed my path, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> you didn't let them cross your path, let's put yeah, it that yeah, way. Put, yeah, just, just let's leave it as simple as that. I, I protected myself at all costs. But one big regret from them times there was I wish I was more closer to God. Because I wouldn't have witnessed all the stuff that I witnessed in life if I just embraced Allah as much as I should have, you know. Like literally at the age of 10, yeah, there was one Russian geezer from the area. He was like 14, but he was steroided up. <laughs> at 14? 14, bro. He had bro. arms that were huge. Uh, back then, I didn't know what roids were. So what, at 14? Yes, 14. Like his arms was... Mm. Like, bro, you, you would think he was like 18, 19, the way he looked, yeah? You know what? He could have been 15, 16. Them people that when they, they change their age and that. You know when I think back now, yeah, I'm thinking, could he have actually been 14? But trust me, he was roided up. But then I didn't know what roids was. So I just thought he just trained a lot, yeah. you know? I thought he just trained hard. But anyways, he he kind of peer pressured me into something. I was only 10 this time. 10 yeah. years old? Yeah, he wow. peer pressured me into something. And, and and I feel sad about this here because one of, one of the kids around the area, yeah, I used to go to their house, eat with their family, this and that, rare, 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 yeah? And then they went, they went out one day and then he implied that we should run run up in the yard and take this and that, rare, rare, rare. Bro, 10 years at old. 10 years old. And I'm sitting there like, no, forget that. That's bad. Rare, 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 this and that. He's like, do you want to make money or not? Do you want to put food on the table or not? I was like, yeah, but not like that. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I'm trying to say? And I'm sitting there like, what do he's you just mean? trying to be an innocent like, kid kind of thing. Yeah, he's like, I'm, I'm, man's going to jump in the wind, this and that, boom, boom, boom. And you're going to come in with me. I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that, bro. This, but I can't, I got peer pressure than I did. The whole house emptied, etc. And then literally, they come back, when they came back like three hours later, when they come home, I'm all acting innocent. Like, oh, your window smashed. I think someone's gone in there, this and that. I'm playing along. Like a mug. I, 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 guys, I, you lot, if you lot watch this and you know who I'm talking about, I apologize from now. I was a kid. I didn't do that on purpose, you know. I made it, we made, I made like a quick 200 pounds from everything in there. But when you deep it, you're 10 years old. That 10, is like, young. I can't even go to the cells at this time. Bro, but like... You have to be over 11 to get arrested. You know <laughs> for that, right? real, yeah. yeah he but, got nicked. Oh, he got nicked yeah, for it? Yeah, his fingerprints. But then they asked... You're young and dumb. No one's wearing gloves no, and all this so. stuff. It just, he got nicked and they asked him who the other fingerprint because I was in the system and he didn't open his mouth. He went he went, he went, went youth offenders for a bit and then came back out. But then that's when... It, you know, in my eyes, yeah, I feel like that's when it all began. Like, yeah, I got pre-pressured into that. But then my mind started thinking, okay... You saw a little bit of the money and you thought, yeah. okay... I was thinking, all right, then, cool. There's ways to make bread. There's ways to put money on the table. I'm going to do this. So then I think I hit like 14. I met a group of people, which I'm not going to say their names. I met a group of people that kind of put me on. Yeah. They was giving me... From your ends, yeah? Yeah. They they kind of made me like the guy. Like They were giving me a lot of stuff to move. Okay. I'm talking about green right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. nothing but green. At this point, it, everything was just green. I'm allowed to talk about this, by the way. I've done my time, you know, so they can't, nothing can't come back to me. Like, you know, I've done my time for it. I serve my birds. So it's not a thing where, oh, you keep your mouth shut. You're going to get nicked for this, this and that. That's not possible. I've done my time. They've already did me for it, etc. So, and when I'm speaking about this here, I'm trying to teach like the younger generation that this, this is not the way. Like to get money and stuff here, in our religion, it says whatever you get in this world is written. How you get it is up to you. It's your choice. Say you're meant to make a hundred pounds today. You're going to get that no matter what. Yeah. You take the steps, you're going to get that. But how you get it, it's up to you. And me, like an idiot those days, I was getting it in stupid ways. You were taking the wrong steps. Yeah. And if I just just worked my head and done other things, everything that was written for me would have came for me. But I started doing all of that and I started like dropping consignments on people, like telling them, look, let me have a cup of coffee at your house, meaning let me know where you live and I will consign you stuff and then pay me when you're ready type of thing, you know? And... I helped out a lot of people like this and got about, I'm not going to lie, I did build my name, etc. and I had protection behind me. So like, no one could really, you know, even if they wanted to, I made that one, boom, done, finish. But yeah, them times there, the problem was, yeah, we had gang problems. So obviously when you're out here shotting food, that comes with problems. We all know that. There's other people who are hungry. You're not the only one on the road. There's always someone bigger and badder than you who, or thinks who they are bigger and badder 100%. than you. 100%. And the thing about the gang culture was here, like them times there, I don't know what it was. It was like a wave. Like everyone wanted to get a gang, be in a gang. Everyone wanted to put their gang out there. 
Everyone wanted to fight each other. Everyone wanted to rob each other's phones. I don't get this mentality that we had when we was young, but that seemed like the thing then, you know? The screw face thing never, and until now, I don't understand. People think Yo, what are you looking at? What do you mean? You was looking at me. Nah, nah, you looking at me. What, what? Let's go. Yeah, what the real. hell was that all about? Deep yeah, it now. When you were fucking, <laughs> I know you remember those times. For real, for what real. What do you mean? Like, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? Like, <laughs> are we all right? Like, we fighting over uh, looking at each other. Till this day, it probably still goes down. 100%, bro. Do you know what it is? It's become a... Because of all this music, all these rappers out there rapping about, listen, you need to be a gangster, X, Y, and Z. Everyone thinks that's the thing. You're cool. If you want to be a rapper, you're cool now. If you want to be a gangster, you're cool. But it's fucked up. There's no money in it as well. You end nah, up in two not. places, dead or prison. 100%. You pick. 100%. And it the, them times there, not, we didn't know better, I'll be honest. But like I said in the other podcast, like the area I was from here, yeah, we were surrounded with our people that was against us. Why? So, like, Why'd you say that though? Because like we used to fly red. Okay. And everyone around us used to fly blue. So they were all linked up. Like say we was in the middle and every area around us, like if this was like a real mad thing, they could have all sandwiched us. Okay, okay, Like, okay. like in that sense, yeah, you yeah, get yeah, yeah. Like They we, was all one and it was you yeah, like the odd North one West, out. Yeah, like we was like the most hated kind of thing. Yeah. But fair play, like we were trying to get our money and then try to avoid all that. But every single day, it was back and forth. They'd come, we'd go. They'd come, we'd go. They'd come. Like in a, in a day, there'll be like four times that would happen. Just madness every day. Every single day, you're trying to make money, you're doing this, you're doing that. And but in the middle of that, you've got to drop everything and, and defend yourself. Like one time, I'll give you a perfect example. One time, and What I'm, age is this? What age are you at this, this point? Is, I'm talking about 15, 16 now. Okay, That's the so part you're I'm really asking. enrolled in the gang life now at yeah. this age. Yeah, at this point, we was, we, we was all dumb gang members and doing... But I'll give you one example, yeah. One stage, I was, doing my, I, was, I, was, I was doing my thing, showing a little bit of drawers and that, whatever. I get a phone call. Oh, hey, high road, mad thing. Rare, rare, rare. I've got like two thousand pounds worth of, of grub here. I've gone quickly. I had spent. I've just given it to a customer. Spare the moment. I put it in the bush. I'm going to the high road to defend my guy. Boom, boom, boom. I've come back. It's all gone missing. So now in this situation, you're losing money now because of this yeah. stuff. The guy that I just gave it to, obviously he's seen me put it in the bush, Chase and he's always because he's never phoned my phone ever again after that. <laughs> so I know it was him, and I don't know where he lives or whatever. But you take losses. The the the, the problem with that is when you you can't do both. No, you're getting money, or you're involved in that crap. That this decision was up to you, basically. It and comes then, with it. When and you, when I try you, to choose both. It, it comes with it. When you're out there gangbanging, sitting there, selling food, it comes with the, the violence as well. No one's just going to leave you alone and say, enjoy it, bro. Crack on, do your thing. So, obviously, you're enrolled in the gang life. There's violence every day, four or five times a day. You're trying to make money. What what happened where you got caught? Because, listen, you went prison. What were the situations that come up where you got arrested for it? I'll tell you that situation. So... So we want to go f fast forward to that, yeah? Yeah, let's jump straight into that. I know right. you want to talk about prison life. No problem. So around that time, yeah, police was really onto me. Like three times a day, still tell you, three times a day, I'll get pulled over. No matter what. I've even got videos on my phone of how they dealt with me. They, mm, God, there's a video right there, yeah, where they shouldn't have done what they did. They pulled me over, had nothing on me, no nothing, rare, rare. They say they smoke cannabis. They never smoke cannabis because they don't smoke that in the car. And number two, you can't really smoke cannabis from the car behind. So they're just waffling. Yeah, yeah. yeah? And then they didn't arrest me because I told them to fuck off. That was the reason why I got arrested that day. But why I went to jail was kind of my fault. It was your own fault. Yeah, no, in, in, a, in, a, in a sense where you'll understand in a second when I tell you. I was, I was shot in loud and I was shot in... Yeah, cool, fair enough. In London though, yeah, not yeah. countryside. Obviously, I had some brethren doing things elsewhere, very rare, rare. And when our phones go together, they think that man's connected to that stuff. Anyways, long story short, well, not long story short, I was driving once, yeah? Yep. And then I had a bit of green on me. Enough to put you in the cell, yeah? But not enough to do any time. I got pulled over, I took it out of my trousers and I said, yeah, this is what I've got do what you're doing they said you're going back to the cells you know the the the, the routine. and you've never you've never been in prison before this never been prison but you've i've been be, in cells you've spent a few nights in cells yeah i've never been prison before and nothing anyways what happened was i'm in the van now and i'm praying to god i'm saying ya allah i hate these cells i hate these cells i hate them they're the worst place to be you got nothing to do drive me nuts sometimes i've never been in jail but i hated the cells i said please god make me avoid these cells and I'll pray my salah every day. I'll pray my prayers, yeah? Because I've stopped praying this point. I'm on and off with it. Yeah, yeah. And, and if I don't pray my prayers, forget the cells, throw me to jail. Yeah? This is how desperate I was. 
I made a deal with God like that. Not yeah. expecting him to even, yeah, I believe there was God there, but you don't ask God for something and he does it for you straight away. That barely happens, you know? Yeah. And he only selects people he does that with. It says that in the Quran, that some people will see these signs, yeah? Bro, I got to the station and the sergeant looked at my name and he said, we don't want this fella in the cells. He's so annoying here. He causes a lot of trouble. Yeah. So he this swear. Is swear on Quran. Wallah al -Azim, that we don't want him here. Give him a date for court for this and get him out of here. Why? What was you doing when you was getting arrested in these cells? Well, I used to play some mad games. I used to sit in the cell, yeah? I used to look at the wall like this and be like, oh, David's telling me bang my head on the wall. David's telling me do this. David's telling me do that. David, shall I do it? What shall I do, David? Shall I do it? Shall I do it? I'm so they think you're yeah, nuts. Think, and, and because sometimes they have you in a cell for reasons that are not mad, yeah? If that did happen, and they'd be fucked. in trouble. They'd yeah. be like, why did you hold someone like that in the cell for some minor case? Rare, rare, rare. This and that. So they let me go that time as well. They said, come back tomorrow for your interview. Three in the morning, they let me go. <laughs> Normally, they don't do that. They make you stay at night and then you got to do your thing. But I learned that. Someone taught me that trick, yeah? So when I went back, he was like, you're not staying. Da, da, da. But that was from God. Let's not go besides the point. Mm -hmm. That was God answered my prayer there because that's impossible, like that type of thing. So I went home. I said, oh my God, Ya Allah, you actually accepted it. What did I say? I told you I'm going to pray every day. Cool. I prayed my salah for five days, yeah? The sixth day, I didn't pray. The seventh day, my solicitor gave me a random call. He said, oh, you got you got an interview to go to in, in Crawley. I said, what? For what? A police interview? He's like, yeah. I was like, it's, it's, it's like voluntary. I said, I don't want it. It's voluntary. Then I'm not going. You know, if it's voluntary, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going. I was like, he's like, no, it's not voluntary. You, they'll arrest you if you don't go. I said, okay. I've gone there with no thought of mine. I'm going to go jail. Yeah. Thinking, what's this for? I ain't, like, what could this possibly be for? And it's not for the weed thing. So I was thinking, what is this for? Mm -hmm. I go there. They're like, yeah, go stay in the cell for an hour in your interview. I was like, bro, it's a, it's a voluntary interview. Why am I going in the cell? I don't know me like that. Yeah. Like, you lot set me up. So I'm in the cells. I've gone for my interview. They're talking about, yeah, up up countryside, rare, rare, rare. Your mate got arrested three months ago. He's been in jail for three months. We've seen some phone evidence that your phones are together too much. We've got a feeling that you're part of this organization, this and that, rare, rare. I'm like, I'm like, no comment. No, that was my biggest mistake, saying no comment. Really? Yeah, because I should have answered their questions. It wasn't that deep. My mate was already in for it. He's already took the rap for it because it was his stuff, you know? Yeah. Like they're just trying to bring more people into it. They're trying to put a leader on that. And I was not no leader of that thing, yeah? That's why I should have prepared. I should have actually went. I should have spoke to him and said, bro, can I say A, B, and C? Like, you've already in there, rare, rare, rare. There's no point in both of us. You know what I'm trying to say? I didn't, I, I'm just used to no comment. So I've done no comment, no comment. And what that does now, it deep, makes them dig deeper. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I've gone to my cell. They put me back in the cell. Like six, seven hours later, so this come to me. He's like, I think you're going to get remanded. I said, what do you mean? I've never been jailed before. What the fuck? Remanded for what, bro? They're like, yeah, they, they, they want to look into this case deeper. And by the way, your car that you parked around the corner, they raided your car and they took all your phones and everything. Because I parked far around the corner, meaning they followed me. Yeah. Yeah, because my, my brother-in-law, yeah, was sitting in the car waiting for me. They've gone in the car. They've took all my phones. I had two phones at that point. They took that evidence back, rare, rare, rare. And then the next day, my solicitor came to me. He goes, yeah, you are getting remanded. You're going to prison. I said, oh my God. Why? How long? What's going on? He's like, until your court case. I said, what prison am I going to? I'm going to go to my, where my mate is. They're like, no, nah, you're going Scrubs. HMP High Down. High Down is because it's next to High Down these times. I was like, blood, I've just, bare man I know is going to jail, but I ain't been. What the fuck? Like, this is this is shocking. Like, I wasn't even prepared for this. Yeah. I didn't wake up in the morning and thought I was going to jail. Imagine we come in the morning and not even have a little, even a, in, in, a feeling about going to jail. You're used to going cells, getting bailed. You think you're like, going to a voluntary interview? Yeah. So I was like, fuck, man. I went, now I went there now. I've walked on the wing. I've looked up. I just see bare man them. Everyone just running around, this and that. Was this the induction wing? The remand wing Yeah, first? yeah, induction wing in the high down, yeah. I'm looking around. I'm like, fuck, man. I'm going to have to fight someone today. That's the first thing I'm thinking, you know. I'm just thinking, yeah, we're gonna. someone's going to go off. Someone's going to test me, rare, 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 this and that. I'm going to be ready. Cool, fuck this. I'm already angry as it is. I'm taking this out on someone. I've gone on the wing now. They're trying to put me in a double cell, yeah? Mm hmm They've took me to one cell now, yeah? The youth's pissing. He's got the curtain, but they're like, this is your cell. The youth backed up the curtain. He just screwed me. He's like, you're not banging up with me. I don't even know what's going on. I'm like, yo, Gov, what's going on, bro? Where am I going? Ray, Ray. He's like, no, you're staying here. Everyone's making a scene, this and that. He's trying to violate me, saying, you're not banging up with this and that. And I don't even know, at this point, I don't even know how jail works. Now I know what that means, like, because I've done that bare times. When you want a single cell, you're going to, you know, it's not impersonal, but you're going to make it seem like in yeah, front of the yeah, yeah. Gov that I'm going to do something to this guy. You know what I'm trying to say? So but at this out. point, 
I don't know what's going on. So I'm there thinking, bro, am I going to have to fight this guy? That's <laughs> what I'm trying to say. I swear it on. Then the, the screw's like, I come, come, we're taking to another cell, yeah? Going to another cell, another kid, yeah? He don't know what's going on or where he's been. He was some like, cuckoo looking you. You get me? They're like, the ones you got to be careful. I know. I was like, so you want to bang up with him? I went straight, away. I went in. I was like, bro, no rooting, I'm bottom bunk. He's like, what do you mean? I was like, take your bags to the top, please. I'm not in the mood. It's the first thing in jail. I don't want to hear none of this. He was like, okay, brother, no worries. I was like, brother, don't take it to heart. I'm, not, I'm a humble guy. I just need a bottom bunk. I, I, I move around that night. I'll fall off at the top. Because <laughs> yeah, I move fair. a lot in my sleep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The next day, the brother come back to me and he shake my hand. He's like, salam alaikum, brother. That was just an act yesterday. It's nothing personal type of thing. I was like, I'm not going to lie, bro. I was ready to fight you today. I thought it was going to come out the thing. You're going to look at me funny and boom, we're going to go off, you know? But then I started seeing people that I know on the wing. Their man will show me love, this and that. Like, yo, Rambo, what one? Because you built a name from the streets. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people knew me. And I knew... A, every job I went to, there, there was... No, I knew a minimum 10 to 20 people. Wow. Every job I went to, there was no job I never went to and I wouldn't see someone I know. So I'm on the wing now. My brethren got me a little something, this and that, rare, rare, rare. I got caught the next week, yeah, for trying to get bail. Okay. We're, you got caught. Caught, caught. Okay, yeah, I had to go court the week after that. So I done a whole week. I went court. I'm hoping I'm going to get bill until my court case because court is like seven months away. Are you a business who is struggling with the rising prices of all the utility bills on the market at the moment? Energy Geeks specialize in finding you the best prices available. Their direct relationships allow them to access the most competitive prices on the market, helping you find exactly what you need. They can also facilitate in change of tenancies, sort out any billing issues, or simply offer you the most transparent advice available. The list of what Energy Geeks can do is endless. All their information is on the screen right now. The website is coming across the screen right now. Go and hit on their website, contact them business to business only. So if you're a business suffering with rising energy prices, make sure you contact Energy Geeks. You went to court, they're like, yeah, he's a flight risk. He took eight flights this year. I was like, but take my passport then. Yeah, take it. If you think I'm a flight risk, take my passport. They're like, no, you're a flight risk. I said, so what does that mean? I'm like, you're staying remanded. You're not getting no bill. I literally got up and started charging towards the thing because they had they didn't have the thing. You know the thing you can jump yeah. over? I literally charged towards him. I'm not going to lie. I went mad. I charged towards him. All the security come. They bend me up. They took me to the floor, this and that. Threw me in a cell. But at this stage, my, um, my Cody was there. He come from the other jail because we were both going for a bell hearing. And they told me, you're going to HMP Lewis now, where he is. I said, at least I'm going with him. You know them ones that he's my boy, this and that. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm happy that I'm going there. So now they've got me an induction wing. He's on M-Wing. The induction wing, M-Wing's only single cells and you need to be high risk, meaning you need to beat someone up in a double to get high risk. My Cody told me, bro, I know you're going to go to the... Um, induction. In, in, no, to the SEG if you do this, but try to pattern a way where they get you on M-Wing because M-Wing's a single cell only wing. But you have to play the game on induction or they won't put you there. They only put high risk people there. So I'm there. They put me in an empty double cell. I'm like, calm. They brought a brother. They're like, you need to bang up with him. I was like, I ain't banging up with him. I'm going to smoke him if you put him in a cell with me. I was like, he won't see his light day of light tomorrow. Yeah? They're like, no, you can't do that. We haven't got any other spaces. Like I was like, go on, bring him in here. Come, bring him in. What should I do? She's like, fuck. She's like, I'm taking your TV. She took my TV now, yeah? Just to punish me. In that yeah, area, yeah. yeah? They're gone now. 720s kicked in. EastEnders is meant to come on. I'm running the bus. I'm like, miss, can I get my TV back? She's like, nope. You're not letting him bang up with you, so no. I was like, I'm trying to get onto M Wing, yeah, and you're not going to put me on M Wing if I don't act like this. So, Is that what you said to yeah, me? I said it straight away. I was like, so if, if I have to beat up someone to get on M Wing, I will do it. That's the single cell wing, this and that. She goes, Who told you that? Yeah, normally you need high risk, but M Wing is not just a high risk wing. We can put anyone there. I was like, Promise me you'll put me on there then if I have to bring him in here. She goes, You have my word, I'll get you on M Wing if you let him bang up because we haven't got no space. I was like, Listen, if you chat shit, bruv, the next person that gets touches on you, you know. She's like, Trust me. I was like, cool, come in, bro. She gave me the TV back. The youth was calm. He came back from DCAT with a bit of tobacco, this and that. So it was actually smart. I was actually happy that I brought him in. Because yeah. he patterned me. He gave me like half a packet of backy, this and that. Boom. The next day, they did get me on wing. She was a man, a woman of her word. She did get me on there. I'm on the wing with my peoples now. And I'm not going to lie. Of all the jails I went to, Lewis was by far the best. I'm not even joking, bro. By far the best. You know why I say that? We had everything over there. Like? Phones. I'm just patterned. You had everything. Android boxes. Alexa, yeah, bro, toys, you know, like men toys, yeah? <laughs> instead of using your hands, man said toys, you know what I'm talking about, instead of using your hands, but people don't think about this stuff when they're inside, you know, they don't, they just think about phone, this and that, when, when you've got a pattern, which I didn't have a pattern, someone did, but they, they looked after me, yeah? yeah, when you've got a pattern, bro, some people don't think out of the box, 
I thought out the box like yo like, man's a guy like we yeah, need yeah. something you know instead of that you know doing that stuff all what are you talking about Rambo <laughs> sorry guys I, I'm not perfect no Muslim's perfect I pray five times a day and I try yeah bear that in mind if you think you're perfect you got another thing coming yeah so man's on M-Wing now no one troubled me bro but guess who I saw Go on. two months later the guy that didn't want me to bang up with him yeah? Yeah, yeah and I'm on the wing with all my guys now yeah I've gone up to him like, you know, if he didn't come apologize the next day, you know, you would have been screwed right now. He's mm-hmm. like, bro, it wasn't a thing like that. Rah, rah, rah. I was like, but you know, if it, if it was a thing like that, you, like, It'll be problems. you would have been pissed right now. Like, like the tables have turned. You're not there with all your people. I'm here with all my people. As you get, do you know what I got kicked out of that jail for? Oh, go on. Something dumb in it. Something dumb. One woman, Gov, used to cane roll my hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not saying any more about that. She used to cane roll my hair and then the, the idiot told me, instead of me doing it in your cell now, I should do it on the landing because it's going to look suspicious. I said, doing that is suspicious. Mm-hmm. But I still went along with it like an idiot. And I'm going to rewind after this story. I just want to tell you this bit because I need to rewind. She's she doing my hair on the landing. Obviously, all the men are getting jealous. They're walking past that. Like, how's he got hair like that? She's doing his hair and that. Boom, boom, boom. Like, that's a mad thing. No, everyone yeah. wants that. You know what I'm trying to say? Everyone wants that. Like, that anyone wants a woman touching them in jail. It exactly. don't matter what she looks like. Exactly. And and majority of them don't even look good at all. But in your eyes, you got Joe Goggle vision. But when, when you've been in there for years, yeah, bro, every everything's, look, everything's like 10 10. The, the, the Kim Kardashian or whatever woman you classify as, the Leng Leng. When you're in there, it's a different story. But yeah, they kicked me out, security ship me to um, high security jail, HMP Whalen. But before, let me rewind a bit, yeah. Um, I went court for, for for the whole thing, yeah, but I went not guilty. Mm-hmm. I tried to fight it. I pleaded guilty for what I did, selling loud and this and that. But the other stuff, I was not guilty for. So why am I going guilty for it? Yeah. I actually felt, it felt mad that I got found guilty for something I didn't do. They had 12 jewelries, yeah? All white, yeah? It's meant to be mixed culture, bro. All white and all 60 plus. That itself yeah, was losing. a setup. You're losing. Yeah. Do you know how, look, they're meant to judge me on the charge, right? Mm-hmm. When I was on the stand and I said, I bond loud, yeah, to help my depression, one of them said, what a disgrace. <laughs> Instantly there and then, you've proven that you are going to judge me on something that has nothing to do with the case. Yeah? That sh- woman should have been removed. Yeah, 100%. Like, by the law, I studied I studied um, and law and criminology, yeah, for, for, for three years. I had one year left to graduate, but they took me to jail. Yeah, I had a year left. So I know the ins and outs. She should have been removed from the jewelry stand. That comment there just proved that your mind is not on what he's being charged for. In your head, you're just looking at him in whatever discrimination or way. You're judging him based yeah? on his look and, and stuff. Exactly. So I knew I was screwed there and then, yeah. But all jewelry said guilty. Not one of them said not guilty. I stood up in court and told them exactly what I did wrong, what I did, because my charge, what I did, yeah, is no more than a two do one. Yeah. yeah to shot loud, this and that. That's even maximum. Max. That's and just a first strike as well. well. Like, this is my first strike. Normally, first strike, they're meant to go lenient on you. Yeah. They told me starting point 14 years. 14 years yes brother 14 yes, brother. years 14 years was my starting point yeah? that's not a joke bro that's a long stretch exactly I went in my cell in the court cell and I opened the Quran I said Ya Allah let me see something in here that will give me a peace of mind about what's going to happen next I opened it it said Allah is a judge of all judges I said okay I'm good you know I was thinking I'm good so whatever happens I'm good it's, it's Allah's will I went in there the judge was so cool like bless the judge. I I had nothing against that guy. Even when the, the 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 prosecution was trying to bring evidence against me, there was a lot of shit he dismissed. He goes, "We're not showing this to the jury. We're not showing that." Like they try show my music video. Yeah, it's not I was really doing music then. Yeah, they try show my music video and it don't look good. No, my music video. No, no music video you know looks good. Do you know what I mean? And then there was a video on my phone. You know them people when you're in the four way in the dual carriageway, whatever. You know them people that 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 do the beg, the beg thing. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Fake, fake yeah, 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 yeah. You know, they, they beg and they, and then I, I had the camera out on a video and I was like, I was like, what do you want? Um, oh, I'm gonna say the word, like, crack. Yeah. Like, drugs, basically. I was like, what, what, what do you want? This and that. Is that what you're doing this for? They try to put that and to imply that I'm saying, what do you want to like to to sell it to him? But I'm saying, yo, you're begging for money so you can get that. Yeah, yeah. And then again, the judge said, no, we're not using this. So the judge was fair. So he was fair. So I went to when I went into the court, yeah. And the Quran said that, yeah, that Allah is the judge of all judges. The judge turned around and said his starting point is not 14 years to the prosecution. He goes, I don't feel like this is right. 
his starting point is going to start at seven and I'm going to give him eight years. Okay. Yeah. From hearing 14 years, eight years to my head was music. You know, like I was like, okay, this is calm. Mm-hmm. Like, it's bad, but it's better than... I looked at my Cody, he got five years. Yeah. Your Cody who was guilty got less than you. Yes. Wow. 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 He wow. Went, but he went guilty though. That's why he got his third off. If I went guilty, I would have got five as well. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. But I looked at him at my Cody. I looked at him and I laughed at him. He's like, why are you laughing? You just got a big bird. I was like, Allah thinks I can handle it more than you can. He thinks you're a <laughs> pump compared to me. Do you get it? Like I made, a, I made a joke out of it. He just laughed. You know what I'm trying to say? We went back on the wing. They separated us two days later. That's when I got security shipped. Straight away, they moved me. Bang, we're separated now. I've gone to HMP Wayland. I get to Wayland. I didn't like this, this, the, 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 the sound of the place. Even in induction, everyone said, bro, this is the worst jail in the UK. I was like, in what way? You can't get nothing here. I was like, no way. I just came from a pattern jail to this shithole where you can't get nothing. Literally. Yeah, but I come through with some things anyways. I was, like, you know, patterned up, this and that. I, I came through. I went there, I saw bare people I knew. They put me in a Gaza wing. Sea wing, sea wing is known as the Gaza wing in Wayland. Like, no one wants to go there. They're all shook. Yeah. There's all the, like, all the man them, man them's there. Yeah, but yeah. that's what I like to be. You know, I don't want to be on no soft wing or whatever. I like to be around my, like, people. Your people. So, I, I, when they said sea wing to me, I said, yeah, let's go. Take me there, take me there. I go there, I see one brother that knew me. I didn't know him, but he knew me. He knew of me, you know? He knew a couple of my people, this and that. Uh, he showed me around the place and rare, rare, introduced a couple of people. Rare, rare, rare. Big up H. Capo, my bro. Him, yeah? I'll tell you why about him. When I got into a little mad thing, yeah? He said, yeah, I got you. Yeah, I was waiting on free flow. Rare, rare. He said, I got you. Obviously, I didn't believe him at the start. Everyone yeah. said they got you. It went off and he had me. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, and we done our thing. I'm not going to repeat it because it was on the other podcast. There's no point. But we done our thing. He had my back. A good brother, my man, you know. I done. Two... No, 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 bro. You got to tell us. Forget about the other podcast. You you kept the start, the start of your uh, life <laughs> for them on that podcast. This is the blue tick, so we need to hear that part. Now, long, like, what happened was this one, 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 one guy yeah, had a problem with my cousin on the outside, yeah, and he heard I was here in it. Like deep down, he didn't want to scrap, but he sh- he was scared to talk about it. Yeah. You know, like in his head, he's just come from YO prison as well, and the YO the mad. kids are mad. Yeah, YO they're more uh, more fights than adult jails, you know. So they still have that mentality where you got to fight before you talk type of thing. So I'm on free flow, and I don't know who's coming at me. I don't know how he looks. I don't know who he is. I've got my back on over waiting for someone to come charge at me. Yeah. But yeah, the guy ran towards me. I've dodged it. Boom. When I boomed him, his brethren's come and boomed me. Yeah. I didn't know there was two of them. Okay. Yeah. So I'm scrapping his brethren. But at the same time, yeah, I'm moving to him. I'm not going to lie. I'm, he's, there was a blood pool everywhere on the floor. His nose went like literally. But at the same time, yeah, I'm thinking, where's this other guy? Because I've got him in a guillotine and I'm on the floor. <laughs> Matt oh, wrapped him up. Bro, bro, my shirt, my <laughs> crepes, everything was drained in red. I was but where's, the, where's the screws? Screws, they came like two minutes later. Don't get wrong. No, because at, at this, you're right. Where was the screws? Man scrapping him, whatever. Two screws broke it up. Yeah, the One's holding him, one's holding me, but that's not enough. Nah, you're Why still... are they holding him? This guy still like got his guard down. I've pushed the screw to the side. I've ran towards him. <laughs> Literally. You're a dumb guy. Why you got your guard down? There's only True. two screws. Two screws can't hold us. No Do you know what I mean? That's when the, the nose went. Tss. And then I had him in a guillotine and my clothes was red. I had white clothes. Do you know what's ironic about this though? Do you watch Dragon Ball Z? Yeah, yeah. Go on, I've watched you know it. Master Roshi? No, I don't. Master Roshi, man. The old guy, when he sees the girls, his yes, nose yes, starts yes, bleeding. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. I had the shirt here with Master Roshi with his nose bleed, yeah? Yeah. And the used nosebleed was all over the top. <laughs> How ironic is that? How mad is that? What was the coincidence of that? So we went seg after that, yeah? But my brother that that backed me, yeah? I can't lie. He slipped away from all of it. They didn't catch him. He just walked off. You know when they, the screws had me and it was over, yeah? I look up, yeah? And I see my brother and he's bold in it and he wears a cap. I see his cap off and I see him just walking off like nothing's happening. see his head bobbing he down. Go away, yeah, he go away. And they didn't know who it was. They kept asking us, who's H? Who's H with a gold two? I was like, that's an alphabet. Who the flip's that? I was like, go check the alphabet. You might find That's them. The yeah, they were angry about that. But yeah, you can get extra charges, bro. I'm not going to lie. It's crazy. You can get mad extra charges for five And if you years. get caught your phone, what is that? If you, how- yeah, bro, you can get up to two years. Extra? Yes. Say swear. Swear to God, bro. You can get up to two years. What, each time they catch you? Yes. Fuck off. It's, it's, it's scary to so have if they don't, if they actually don't like you in, the, in you're prison, screwed. you're fucked. You're yeah, never coming out. they send it to police, innit? And then the police give you the extra time. 
They see it as danger. They see it as that's the that's the things that bring drugs in and this and that. Where if you ain't got phones, you ain't patting enough. But most of the time, if you're good to them, they just take the phone and keep it moving. Yeah, it's some gel. Some gels yeah won't give you extra time. They'll give you seg time. What's that? Oh, in the so thing. in the segregation where you're in the cell alone, no TV, no time, no nothing. You don't know what day is. You know what time it is. Yeah, it's one of the, one of the worst places. That's like be being in cell in police station. Yeah, that's well, the you could No, you could be there for months, weeks, or years yeah. even. I know my guy was in there for a whole year. Wow. My guy was in there. Bro, I've done a podcast with a guy who was in there for 22 years in America. 22 years. Did you I hear guess... that, guys? 22 years in the wait, seg. Wait, wait. Forget about that. 22 years in the seg for rape and murder. But wait. On a 22nd year, DNA come out and proved he didn't do it. That is sad, man. I feel sorry for him. He was on Sky News this morning talking about it. That is sad, man. So tell sad. me, tell wow. me, tell me some more stories about prison. Cause look, my viewers here, yeah. they like, they like to know. This is what stuff. we're doing. I'm kind of going in a timeline. It's good we're doing it like this, cause it's the different episodes and different things. So at this stage now, I went to the seg, yeah, and then the, you can communicate with the people that are in the seg. You shout out the window, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the two guys that I was fighting was there. I'm hearing them having convos with each other, yeah. They're like, oh, that Rambo guy's a snitch. He's not even in the seg. We're only in the seg. Rare, rare. They don't know I'm in there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they think I, I, I've, I've grasped them up and I've gone back to the wing. Rare, rare, rare. They don't know I'm in there. I'm just listening, listening. Listen to this me. How's both of your noses? Because both of their noses got cracked. He's like, who's that? I'm like, it's me, bro. I was like, how's your nose? Because you know what? Oh, do you know? Let me rewind. Do you know what one of them said to the other one? The one that he's like, bro, he mashed my nose up, bro. It's full out of place. I've got to go to hospital. This and that. Rare, rare. And then the other one's like, bro, he goes, my nose is whoa. They're both complaining about their noses. And I'm just like laughing. I'm like, you idiots. And they don't know I'm there, innit? So yeah. when I was like, I was like, how's both of your noses? They're like, who's that? I'm like, it's Rambo. Oh, bruv, rare. the man could have spoke about this, this and that. I'm like, but you charged at me. You get me? What do you mean speak about this? You charged at me through hook and I dodged it. You know what I'm trying to say? And he's like, bruv, like the man them come to me through the gate saying you're onto me and you're waiting for me on free flow, this and that. I was like, I'm not gonna lie, I did say that. Yeah, because you you done something to my cousin in the past, rare, rare, rare. He's like, bro, me and him, bless that. Like, that's over, rare, rare, rare. I was like, how come he's, be, he's, he's paying me two racks for mashing you up right now? He's like, he's like, is that what he's on? He's like, in my face, he's like, your cousin's wet then. I was like, buddy, I'm not going to lie, bro. You say that to his face and then see, do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, talking, 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 we end up blessing it. And how long are you in SEG for? Uh, two days at this point, only okay. two days. Because yeah. they, they, they say, are you not going to immediate? So they want you to squash it to squash and then you get back to see if you can go back to the wing. So me and my man, the first guy, we squashed it. We immediated everything, yeah? But the other guy that I broke his nose didn't want to immediate and didn't want to go back to the wing. So he played a smart game. He punched the screw in the face so they can ship him out. So he won't go back to the wing. Yeah, yeah. You know? He's, he's thinking I'm going to And the thing is about Joe, yeah? Muslims are together. Yeah. That's the thing about We're Joe. United, they, they're united in there. So, and these two weren't. So everyone in the in the jail was saying when they come back on the wing, it's over doing? for them type of thing. And that guy that wanted to leave knew that. But the other one was more clear. He was thinking we've squashed it. Rambo's going to tell everyone it's not that deep. Which I did. I told everyone don't touch him. Yeah. I was like, he already got beat up. We squashed it. No one touched him. I've seen him bare times walking on free flow. We have convos. It's mad like how you have scrapped yeah, someone yeah. and later you're all buddy buddy with them. You know? So yeah, man's gone to the wing now, bro. Now my name's ringing bells. So at this point, how long have you been in prison for? At this point, I've been in for a year. So it's still early days for mm -hmm. you. Wow, okay. It's my third prison now. Okay. Space of the year. So I'm in, I'm in Wailing now, yeah? These times, you see when you do madnesses like that, and especially when you're, when you're doing that much damage to someone, like everyone wants to be your brethren. No one wants to trouble you. Like people will think twice before they, you know? That, like, that's the kind of status man had, Yeah. On a humble thing, bro, please, guys, don't ever see me as trying to boast or trying to act like I'm some big bad boy because I'm not. I am not a bad boy, yeah? I always keep it humble. I always stay in my lane and I never bully or trouble anyone. But when trouble comes my way, I deal with it accordingly. And the only reason why I deal with it accordingly is because I'm like that. Because I don't look for trouble. Bro, they used to call me BT in Joe. You know what that means? No, go on. Bully Terminator. I, I don't like bullies, bro. I used to walk past cells, see certain situations, go in, either stop it verbally or stop it physically. I don't like bullying, bro. I hate that stuff. Like, when I was younger, I used to get bullied. You know what I'm saying? When I was like, when I was like, what, eight, at one stage I got, I was getting bullied. At the age of 12, 13, I got bullied, you know? But then I, I came out of my shell. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah of course. Like, I used to do crazy things, bro, at those ages as well. I never used to use my fist these times. I knew how to fight, but I used to pick up stuff. Yeah. So even if people that try to bully me, I'll get them in crazy ways that kids wouldn't do. It's because of what I experienced back home. It, it turned yeah. me a bit. At that stage, it made me a bit like violent, violent. But yeah, back to Joe now. 
So I'm I'm in Wailing on Sea Wing now, yeah? I see one of um, the women's staff fancies me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. she, she proper fancied me. Like, she'd be like, oh, you look buff. Oh, look at your arms. Oh, this, all oh, that. Rare, 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 rare. Bum chicky, wow, wow. <laughs> I got kicked off the wing. <laughs> I wonder why. I got kicked off the wing, but basically some what someone went to the screw and said they saw both of us kissing in the showers. Yeah. One of the man them on the wing went and done that. That's fucked, you know. You expect screws to do that, not fucking people on the wing. What's going on, guys? This video is sponsored by London Steel Services Limited, based in Hertfordshire on the A10. No job too small, no job too big. Anything to do with metal, these are your guys. Make sure you hit up London Steel Services Limited. All their information is on the screen right now. They offer crazy lead times, 24 to 48 hours on builders, beams, and small fabrication jobs, flatbed and 45 to 90 foot crane high ab deliveries. The jobs they get involved with are barn conversions, extensions, loft conversions, new builds. They can survey, design, supply and install steel or simply just supply. Whatever you need, they're here to help. People get jealous, bro. That's what it is. People get jealous. They had no evidence. So normally when this happens, as you realize from my last jail, yeah? Yeah. You got, they got to ship me out, right? To another jail because you can't, they're scared that she might do stuff. But they had no evidence. We both denied it. What they did was, was separate us. They said, we can't be on the same wing. So they've moved me to A wing now, yeah? And I don't like change, bro. Changing wings in jails is a fucking headache. Because you got to start again, new people, this and that. Got like, you've got your group of again. friends already where you've got a routine with them, rare, rare. So when they're moving you, you're, you're like, start your routine all over again. you got to set. But everything happens for a reason. Every time I move, I don't like it at the start. But a week in, I get happy that I've moved there. There was a reason. I went to A-Wing and it was a bit better for me because people were doing things over there that in C-Wing they weren't doing, you know? And they were bringing me in and they were showing me love and everyone loved me on A-Wing. I'm not going to lie. Like, they loved, man, bro. They show man so much love on that wing. Like, so much love. I didn't have no physical problems on A-Wing, yeah? But there was this situation that made, made me laugh. There was this lifer from Liverpool, yeah? Mm -hmm. And there was this other Liverpool guy. I'm not going to say no names, yeah? But those two did not like each other. And the next day, they was meant to do a mad thing, yeah? But they, I see the you charge at him, yeah, with the, the, the razor thing. Yeah, yeah. Bro, his face got cut from here to here. He had to hold his face like this, bro. The amount of thing that came out of him, bro. And he was holding his face like this. Wow, yeah? wow, wow. I swear to God, I remember the image till now. That the way it was hanging, it's like trunks, like from Dragon Ball Z with the sword, what he done to Frieza. He went, Pst. Ugh. I can't lie, that was that was crazy, man. That was mad. I'm not gonna lie, from a from a from a what's it call it? From a toothpaste razor. Yeah, that's a bit Over bad. what? Over what? You're going to laugh. Over a Samsung box. Obviously, this box is very valuable yeah, in Joe, yeah? In Joe. It's got everything in it. All the series, everything. Rare, 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 yeah? They both robbed someone for it, yeah? And then they were fighting over who's it's going to be. Who's going to get yeah? it? Guess who got it in the end? None of them. Me. You? Yeah. <laughs> How did you get it? I went and took it off them because they, they robbed uh, a brother. <laughs> they robbed a the brother. I went and go and took it off them. Me and my boys went in the cell. We grabbed it off them. So that fight was for no reason because none of you got it. Yeah. Yeah. And I went to give it back to the guy they robbed, yeah? Remember, I told you they called me BT. Yeah, yeah. So I went back give it back. You know what he said to me? Keep it. Keep it. Literally, he said, that's you, brother. Look how God works. So beautiful. You help someone in need, someone that's oppressed, and you get rewarded for it. But they always say, don't do it to get something back. Always do it with good intentions. And I always have. My heart's always been pure. I've always had my heart on my sleeve. I'm a very nice guy. But push me and you won't see a nice guy. That's facts. I came out now and I've changed my life. Rare, rare, rare. But yeah, that was stupid. That situation there was it was just proper silly. I don't know why they're fighting over that and ending them again. And bro, but you know the biggest fights in Joe is all about debts. It always is. Always it's always is. debts. And bro, it's what they buy, bro. It's you see the the, the, the rice, the spice. Yeah, yeah. But uh, six seven years ago it was green, like it looked like loud or whatever. Cool, slide that, no problem. Yeah, even though I wouldn't do that, but still that's different. But it's a piece of paper, A4 paper, yeah, which on the outside they throw chemicals on it. Yeah. And then they rip a piece of the paper, they put it on the, the, the spark. Enjoy it. When you when you take off your vape, you get the element at the bottom and you put it on your vape and it will cause a little thing so you can light something. Yeah. They put it there and they're like this. And then they turn zombie. Like they're like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Swear oh, down. Like like how I'm doing it now. Yeah. Exactly like, and the whole wing is zombified. Fuck that. But you man. see the baddest boys on the roads on that in jail. 
The baddest boys on the roads that claim they're on this and that, you see them on the wing like, yo. <laughs> Bro. Like, 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 you're embarrassing. Allow it. Like, that's embarrassing. What do you mean? Uh... Yeah, that's fucked. That's fucked. Well, I stayed away from that. I can't lie. It was never tempting. I never liked the view of it or nothing. But this is what people are debt over. So you can have a lot of money, yeah, in jail. But when your debts are on canteen, your money's not going to save you. Because yeah. you only get either £20 a week, £30 a week, or £8 a week, depending on your status, yeah? If you're enhanced, standard, or basic. And in that £30, you can buy all your canteen. Now, when you're owing a man 30 here, 30 there, 30 there, yeah? It's gonna take if you, you tell him, I will transfer you £30, he's going to be like, nah, 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 nah. I don't want that cash on the He outside. wants it there, I want canteen. canteen. Canteen is currency, yeah? And people get themselves so debted up where they're getting, they used to call it Black Eyed Friday. Because Friday would be canteen day, innit? Yeah, yeah. And if some people don't pull through, Black Eyed Friday. It's, it's, I can't lie, it's mad. You see, when I never I never sold any of that stuff in there because I made a deal with God when I went in. I said I will never sell anything. And I saw what that shit did to people, yeah? So I was no way I was going to sell that stuff, yeah? And I hated anyone that did that, I'll be honest with you. Because that shit fucks people up. Like, they touch road with a different mind. Like that ruins you long term. Oh, of course, man. That shit. Listen, that's worse than heroin. It's bro. turning into a fucking zombie, man. What do you expect? Than, it's, it's not. It's worse than heroin, bro. It's, and heroin's meant to be the worst of the worst. Bro, it's a piece of paper that's been sprayed with chemicals. How is that? How is that meant to be good for you, bro? But you know what it is. It's it's mad how you've gone through all of that. You've seen that shit. Plus what you saw back home as well. And now you're sitting opposite me, bro. You're a cool guy. Come on, my bro. No, but you wouldn't. You, every, I see you on TikTok. You're on there last week, number one ranking. Yeah. They won't expect you to have the back the past you've had, no. and this is just one percent of your past as well. Yeah. We keep we're keeping it very PG for the people out there. Literally, I can't talk about a lot of things. Like, there's a lot of things that you can't talk about because obviously there's other reasons. But there's some shit in your life which is this is this is baby compared to it. This is yeah, nothing. this is nothing. Literally, this is literally what he said. It's the PG version of my life story. Like I've got I've got my, my, my family sitting right over there on the sofa and everything he's hearing right now, he's thinking they don't even know. Like, this is what I mean. Mom, I'm sitting here, I'm pro- I'm shocked by a few things, this, that, but in reality, this is this is nothing for you. Well, when I came out of jail, a lot of my old friends turned on me and they didn't even do nothing for me when I was on the road, yeah. But they still turned on me. Like I had so many so called brethren, bro. When I went in, I saw the true colours, yeah. Like, you couldn't even send me a canteen money, like what the fuck? I got a boy that's lifed off right now for a crime he didn't even do. He didn't even commit the M. And I'm not even being PG about this. I'm telling you, Wallahi, he didn't do it. Mm -hmm. He didn't end her. Yeah? He did not do it. And he got 37 years minimum. Yeah? Bro, I try my best to help him as much as I can. I ain't forgotten him. He's been in like 10 years. But where's all his other brethren though? That's the question. I don't think there's one person that actually helps him apart from me. Not even one. Mad, isn't it? Like, bless his family as well, man. Such good people. I went and dropped them money the other day, yeah? The, the the parents trying to reject it, trying to give it back, saying give it to Charity or something. I'm saying, no, put in his canteen. Like, no, he's good. He's all right. Give Charity. But the thing is, yeah, I dropped in a letterbox and kick up. So on the phone, she really didn't want it. But I told her, just accept it. This is Charity from me. Do you know what I mean? And I'm going to try my best to keep doing it. I, I fucking miss him, man. It's sad, bro. 37 years for a thing you didn't do. Imagine your brain. But you know what? His mind's strong. It ain't, it ain't infected bro, him like that. Just, that's... It hasn't affected him like that. Bro, 37 years, getting heard that when you know you've genuinely not done it, you got to be a strong man to ride but that. Let me say, Allah gives you tests that you can handle and that's his test right now. For all he knows, in a year or two, a uh, appeal might come through yeah. and he'll be out. Evidence might get this. Because I don't think God's going to leave him there forever. I don't know. I'm not God, but I don't think they're going to leave him there forever. How long has he been in for so far? He's been done 10 years now. 10 years already behind the door? Yeah. 10 years. Now, hear this now, yeah? Let's move on to the next jail. Yeah? How many jails were you in total? Six. So this is jail number? One. So this is number three. Jail number, number four? Three. three. Wayland's third. I went high down, then Lewis, where my boy was, and then they security shipped me to Wayland. So now we're going on to four? We're going to four now. Yeah, okay. And four is DCAT, yeah? To get DCAT, you got to be well behaved. Yeah, yeah. Remember, at this stage, Corona's kicked in, yeah? Mm-hmm. Corona in jail wasn't a joke, you know. Nah, I heard, I heard a lot of people like, talk about at that. At this stage, just before Corona kicked in, I got given my DCAT. I was over the moon. People don't know what DCAT is. It's an open prison where after a month, you can go out for a day. You can see your family, this and that, and you come back to the jail. There's no lock in your door. You've got freedom. It's like a little land, yeah, where you can walk around. You could easily walk off and go home. 
yeah, but you'd get in trouble. You'd be fine. But it's possible. You, it's not even hard. Someone pull up in a car, you drive. There's bare man, yeah, that used to get their things to come, yeah, into the jail, sleep with them in the jail. Yes, brother. Bro, I'm showering once, yeah, and I hear some humming that sounds like a woman's hum. I've looked over the shower, I see a naked girl. I was like, what? One of them and them's girl, she's showering on the wing, yeah. She's walking around with a hoodie and a hat, yeah. Trying to look, but yeah, they, blend they in. don't walk around the wing, they just stay in the room, yeah. Then they get pulled up again in the car, they get picked up and they leave. So where's the screws? But the screws are there, yeah, but it's easy to, if you know. You they're know, patterned. Yeah, they're there, but it's not even patterned. Like, if they, it's, it's not hard, it's not hard to get, like, get caught. It's easy, it's, am I saying it's it right? It's hard to get caught. No, it's not hard. It's easy to do that. So yeah, it's hard to get caught doing it. Yeah, didn't you? It was when I was there. That jail, Collinsy Bay, was on the newspapers. You know that. No, for they what? They caught three post prostitutes in someone's cell, bro. It was there. It was on the papers and that they got caught in this. <laughs> but they were living. <laughs> they were living. But anyways, yeah, COVID times here yeah, was in Wayland, yeah. It was bad, bro. They treated us like shit, bro. We was already in the jail. Do you know what they did to us? 28 days bro they kept us behind the door with no showers no nothing they'd bring hot food to the door that's already turned cold and bro the main part was the showers bro we couldn't shower for 28 days no shower nothing nothing bro they did not know how to do covid yeah wow but it was mad bro 28 days and then i caught it bro i, I had it bad like really bad and they was doing nothing about it i was flatlined bro i thought i was gonna leave the studio i managed to crawl to the phone because we had in cell phone yeah, there yeah, yeah? And I called my sister. I said, please call the ambulance to the jail. I think I'm gonna, this thing's going to end me. I'm serious, bro. I, I, I had it bad. I don't know how, why, but I had it really bad. The ambulance came in and they, they were shocked. They're like, no one called you. They're like, someone outside called for so-and-so. We need to go see him and we're not leaving until we see him. They came in. They checked me up. They're like, come with us. This is bad. You need the breathing thing. I said, I'm going nowhere. They're like, no, come with us. I said, I'm going nowhere. They're like, it's your choice, but we, it's, 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 you're not looking too good. I was like, I'm going nowhere. I was shook that it would get worse because there was bare people with COVID there as well. Yeah. Did you get? I stayed in the cell. I read it out. No support. No nothing. No one checking on me or anything. No, they should be making man soup, this and that. You know, like bits and bobs. Yeah, like just to help. make sure you're okay. Oh, I didn't have no lemons. I didn't have no ginger. I had nothing, bro. And I told them, please go to the um, place where warehouse where they give the canteen and please take the money on my thing and get me flipping ginger, lemon, these things that can help me. They wouldn't do it, bro. They actually wouldn't do it. Idiots. 28 days went past now. All right, look. And the 14th day, I got a bit better. Yeah, yeah. I got a bit of energy. Even my boys were trying to shout me that I couldn't reply. I was like, I, I got my DCAT this time. So any misbehavior, I would lose my DCAT, yeah? And I was supposed to go then, but because of COVID, I didn't go for after nine months with my DCAT. In that nine months, easily I could have lost it. And I'll tell you how I could have lost it. Bro, you see how we all got flaps? Yeah, yeah. I was like, to all the, everyone listens to me on the spur. I was like, everyone smash your flaps, yeah? and flood the whole wing with rubbish, yeah? Everyone smashed their flaps, including me, yeah? We smashed everything. Everyone's, the whole spurt was flooded with dirt, tea bags, liquid, whatever. The screw come on, he was shocked. He's like, what the hell is going on here? Who did this? He looked at flaps, he's like, there's many of them. It's not one person. We all did it. Yeah. You, get, you all do it, they can't put us all in trouble. Yeah, they can't do it too. Yeah? Well. So I'm thinking my decat's gone now. Yeah. It's gone. This is easy. this is how you, you can use decal. I was like, it's gone. They three days later, someone's coming to fix the flap here. Yeah? I've put the, the 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 door, the little you know the cupboard door. I broke my cupboard door and I put. It's like you're not fixing nothing. He's like, why? He's called the CM, the big dog here. Yeah? Hmm. It's the it's the three stripe screw. Yeah. He's like, Rambo, why are you not letting him do it? I said because I know I've already lost my decal. I ain't behaving. Forget that. He's like, who told you you lost your decal? I was like, after what we did, that's enough to lose my decal. He's like. Have I ever lied to you? I was like, no, you've always been straight to me. He's like, you haven't lost your decap. But if you don't let him do it, you will. I was like, go on, do it. <laughs> <laughs> do it now, bro. I was like, do it. I was like, I thought I lost it. I was like, cool. He's like, when am I going decap? He's like, when COVID's done. I said, what do you mean? We don't know when COVID's done. He's like, well, then mm. no one's transferring anyone. It's, 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 that's how it is right now. So cool. 28 days went past. Da, 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 da. Uh, a couple months later, I got decap. Finally, yeah. I've gone to this banging place where everything's open. You get tobacco. You don't need to buy tobacco no more. Like, it was lit. Everything is there. There's nothing you can't get there. Like, people have free phones, this and that. So I got myself a phone, yeah? yeah. <sighs> 10 days later, they come in my cell. Are you allowed a phone? No. Okay. You get kicked out for that, yeah? It's really, I'm so stupid. I got my chance to get some freedom, yeah? Bro, but you know what it is? They give, they're meant to give you a chance, yeah? A one-strike chance, yeah? They tricked me, bro. They took the phone off me very rare, rare, 
They said, yeah, you're going for adjudication tomorrow. You're probably going to get like 28 days losses, like canteen, innit? I was like, yeah. that's all right. That's not bad. Bro, in the morning, they come and handcuffed me and took me back to Wayland. They tricked me. Do you know why? They told me, who did you buy the phone off? I said, I ain't telling you that. All right, you're gone. That means every motherfucker that got caught with a phone in DCAT is a fucking grass. And that's known in them places there. And I only clocked there and then when they told me, if you don't free up the name, you're going you're, 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 you're to get kicked out. And I said, bruv, if I was that guy, I wouldn't be in jail now. I would have freed up a lot of people because the feds did come and ask if you give us this and that, we'll reduce your sentence. Rah, rah, rah. And I said, no. Nah. Like, if that was the case, I would have done that from the beginning. You know? yeah, yeah. I'm not changing my morals in, in, towards the end of my sentence. I've got a year left. But you know how sad it was, bro? Ten days. I didn't even get to go home to see my family, this and that. Rah, rah, rah. I didn't manage to survive. So I've gone back to Wayland. Everyone's looking down on me. They're all disappointed they're in me because they were all happy for me. Like all the man them was happy. They know I've been in jail for three years at this point. They wanted me some freedom. They were all this and like I'm disappointed, you Rambo. I had the fuck a phone, fuck a phone, man. You could have seen your family this and that. I was like, I know. You know what's mad, bro? The day before that, I had a crazy dream. I had a dream, yeah, that robots were strangling me and my mum was strangling me as well, yeah. The robots are the screws, and my mum kept telling me get rid of that phone. She kept telling me, get rid. So my mum was basically warning me yeah. and them robots are the screws. I didn't deep what that dreamt meant. Only after I knew what that meant. I went back to Wayland, yeah? And then they put me on, they put me on B-Wing now. No, I right, hear this one. They put me on D-Wing, yeah? Yeah. Hear this, guys. Are you in jail or not? Shut up, man. <laughs> they, they, they put me on, on D-Wing, yeah? yeah? Wrong wing. I had problems with a lot of people on this wing, yeah? But I didn't know if they were still there type of thing. I've gone, couple man knew me, they come help me with my bags. Yo, yo, I'll take you to a service and I was like, no problem. When you come up to me, he's like, I Rams, come in the shower. I was like, who the hell is this? And I know what come in the shower means. It means we're getting it cracking, you mm -hmm. know? The way he said it as well, he's like, I Rams, come in the shower. I was like, I've gone in the shower, there's four of them, gloved, couple of them got gloves on. They look ready, innit? One holding their waist, this and that. But I like the fact that it was in the shower tight area that's banging for me fuck mm. numbers you know what i mean i've gone in there the you is like you don't remember me rambo i thought who are you he's like from 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 yo times felt him you don't remember me he's like but i've never been yo what are you talking about i've only been an adult joe and this is my first bird he's like nah bro you rushed me back in the day bro i remember you very well you, you're turkish in it i said i'm not turkish bro i'm iraqi you got the wrong guy yeah, yeah. no your name's rambo though innit? i'm like yeah he's like i remember you's you i was like listen i'm gonna tell you one more time it wasn't me yeah and I'm getting like my, I'm getting ready now because by this bed, there's four men there, and it's not you, and it's not me, and I'm in the showers, and he's kind of dragging it out. By now, we should have been scrapping, you know. When I get like that, I'm setting it. I said it one more time. I said, brother, you got the wrong guy. He's like, nah, it was you. I just went boom. I sell on him straight away, bro. I swear, I'm, I'm not even. Bro, I came out with not a scratch, not a bruise, no nothing. I can't say the same about them though. Allah is my witness. He protected me with five angels. You see, because I pray every day. I, day by day, I realize how much God is, is protecting me in life. Every time I get into a situation, since I've been a good guy, I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, when I wasn't a good guy, bad, bad things used to happen to me. But since I've been a good guy, in every mad situation, for some reason, I come out on top. Bro, yeah, I can box. I've been fighting my whole life. I did boxing before, amateur boxing. But in a brawl, that's a different type of fight. Yeah, I, I, a fight is a I'm more of a street, fight. I'm more of a street fighter than a, than a boxer. I'm more into that. Bro, I came out on top. All of them finished. Like, even one you on the wing, yeah? He's on my life right now. Yeah, his <laughs> name's Merv. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. My biggest hitter. Merv. Real guy. Hey, Merv, big up to you. Even he come up to me, he's like, you handled yourself well there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're like, four of them. I was like, forget numbers, bro. But you know, they come to my flat the next day, apologizing. Yeah, it's a, and I was like, I realized it wasn't you. <laughs> you realize it wasn't me. After all of that, now you realize it's not me. It's only because you got wrapped up. You're apologizing. And you know, I got man them on C wing. All the C wing lot, they were ready to run through the cage to get these lot down because there's a cage between them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they was ready. All of them was ready the next day to run up on these lot. Yeah, but when the my man apologizes, I'm a humble guy. You know, I told the man them, yo, leave it. It's not that deep. We've we squashed it. It's settled. I've gone to um, B wing now. Yeah, and then the screws they didn't like me over there. I'm not gonna lie, they fucking hated me. One guy. 
that was taking spice, yeah? Yeah. This guy is such of a prick. He had some banging 97 them Air Max things. Yeah, yeah fresh, yeah? He come to me and he's like, I want to swap with your one. I like your black ones, yeah? Yeah. I said, no problem, because I liked his one more. Do you get it? I was like, <laughs> what you? But he went to the screw and said, yeah, I bullied him for his crepes. Just snitched straight up? Yeah, but and lied. Wow. He said, I bullied him for his crepes. They come to my cell. Hold on, before that, yeah. He said that, and then someone else that owed me money burnt their cell just to get off the wing so he wouldn't see me in the morning. He put his cell on fire to leave the wing, yeah? So two things has happened in one night, yeah? One's gone and said that, and one's done that. So they've come to me and said, bullying and selling. You're going to the seg, mate. Come with us. I was like, but I hate the seg, bro. I was like, what, what did I do? I ain't a bully, you know? Yeah, yeah. That man's not a bully, rare this and that. I was like, they call me BT. I terminate bullies. What do you mean, bully, bro? This guy lied. He set me up. So I've gone to the seg now, but when I've gone to the seg, yeah, I started fighting the screws. I was swinging them out. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. I proper swung like a good five, six of them, yeah? But then they fucked me up. But it's good they fucked me up. Because if they don't fuck you up, they will give you an extra charge, which is up to eight years for assaulting a screw. Yes, up to. It can be less, but I'm saying up to eight years, yeah? And everyone knows if you assault one of them, do it so badly so they come back for you and mash you up. This video is sponsored by Cranbrook Law, an award-winning immigration law firm. Their talented solicitors can help when any struggles arise regarding immigration law they can help get you the visas they need they can help get you the staff you need from any other countries as you can see the website is on the screen right now so if you need anything to do with immigration law message cranbrook law and let them help you whether you're looking to obtain a sponsor license receive advice and guidance in relation to compliance and our civil penalties or take advantage of our know-how and experience across a broad range of business visas our talented and dynamic immigration lawyers are available to speak to you telephone numbers on the screen emails on the screen and hit the link in the bio if you need any help so they did come back in my cell with their shields and that and they did bust my face open <laughs> they batted me still but i didn't mind I, I gave them a good fight i knew i was gonna lose there was too many of them they come in there they batted me they let me heal in for a whole two weeks in the seg so my right. face yeah and then they moved me to hmp stockton which is even worse than Wayland. there's three high security sea cats stockton Wayland, and moreland so me i've done two out of the three the high securities is this bed. what prison is this now i've gone to stockton now what number what do you mean? This is number five, six. Is this your last prison? No, Brixton's after that. Okay, so it's Fiat five. Yeah, this is five. Yeah. When Stocken now, they call it, they call it, what is it? Sticky Stocken. Mm -hmm. That's what they call Stocken, Sticky Stocken, because you're not getting nothing. I swear to God. Yeah, I said that about Wayland, but there was a bit of glitches in Wayland. A bit of glitches. Yeah, but in Stocken, you people are crying to leave that place. Like they want transfers, they don't like. But the one good thing about that place is if you get a gym job, your pattern, the gym job is good, yeah? Mm -hmm. But the only way you get that is by misbehaving. How fucked is that? They, 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 but you have to misbehave really bad. So I came with, listen, when they shipped me there, they took all my clothes, they took all my um, electronics. They, I had my Xbox squad, everything. They sent me there empty handed with nothing, like nothing at all. And that drives you mad when you have all this stuff and you go into a jail with nothing. You feel like you've just come to jail yeah, fresh again. You know what I mean? So I've gone on violence straight away. Straight and so on the they told me that if you do that, you get a gym job. When the man them told me that, I said, I'm playing. So at the beginning, I was doing mad things, this and that, arguing with da 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 I went to the CM, I was like, can I get a gym job? He's like, no. I was like, but you lot keep giving people that misbehave. He's like, do you know what my man's been doing? He's done so much bad stuff. That's why we gave it to him. I said, all right, you know what that's done now to me? I'm going to do so much bad stuff. Do you get it? Why this? I dragged the CM from his collar, yeah? <laughs> Into my cell, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, he's dolo, he's stocky. I've dragged him. He's tussled me. I can't lie. We're tossing, tussling. I managed to throw him towards the toilet. I run to the nettings and jumped over to the nettings. Now I'm on nettings. They can't catch me. They're not allowed to come near me. Why? Because it's, 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 it's classified as heights and it's dangerous. No, then it's their policy. They are not allowed. They are not allowed to come near you. They're not allowed to touch you. That's why people go there. Be like, I'm like, what, what are you going to do now? Come. I'll fight all of you lot. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. come, come, come. I'm bouncing on the nettings. I'm like, eh, you lot can't do nothing. But then I played it smart. Oh, this is the play. I played it smart. I crushed up some paracetamols, yeah? Only like three of them, yeah? Mm -hmm. And I had bare empty packets. This was all in my pocket. This was part of my plan. I threw all the empty packets to make it look like there's a hundred on the paper. When it's crushed, you can't tell how much is yeah, there. Yeah, yeah? I said, I'm going to take a hundred of them, yeah? You lot took me to this level. I had it and they're like, stop, stop! I drank it, yeah? Little they know it's only three, yeah? I'm like, yeah, I'm leaving this world today. I'm leaving this world today. I'm messing with the yeah. head. This time it's like 8 p.m. They want to go home. Bang up was at 5. I'm there for three hours. <laughs> You're driving a mad. Bro, they, they said, we need to take your hospital. We need to take your hospital. We need to take your hospital to pump it out of you, innit? I was like, wait, man, I will go hospital soon. I'm not done with you lot yet. They hated me for this, bruv. 
An hour later, I went to hospital with them. They said, yeah, we need to pump your belly. I was like, I refuse. I was like, I, I, want, I want something to happen to me. Yeah? This is called being on an act. Now, when you're on an act in prison, which you like, so like whatever, yeah? Mm -hmm. Like you want to end yourself. They can't take your TV. They got to give you stuff to make sure your brain's okay. Yeah? And they have to look after you now. Yeah, because they tried to take my TV. They took it bare times in stocking, yeah? But now I'm on an act where they have to watch me now because of very rare, rare. They have to give me stuff. So when I've come back to the wing now, boy, they gave me a gym job. But the best thing you can get in a jail is a gym job. I was training so hard for six months. I had one fight in this jail. Yeah, one. And I defended one of my brothers. Basically, my cellmate, yeah, he was fasting. It was Ramadan. Yeah. <laughs> this other guy was off his head. Pakistani brother from Bradford, yeah? Why are you off your head in this Ramadan, firstly? He's going to slap my cellmate, yeah? And he's like, well, come, let's go in the cell with me and you're rare, rare. I said, bro, go in the cell with him. And I just met my brother Lurks these times. He's from um, Bedford, yeah? He's I, I included your name, bro, yeah? <laughs> we were just talking about, um, have we got each other? Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, like Have we, you got me? I've got you. Like, kind of right. We're just talking about it. Them two went in the cell. I can't lie. I went and said it. Not my cellmate. I, I didn't like the way he dealt with him. I banged him now. Lurks come in, banged him. He got rushed, yeah? The next, and then we finished it. I'm not gonna lie. And then, and then after all of that, I felt bad for him. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I threw him out the cell like like he was like it was a rubbish. And then I locked us in the cell. Yeah. Yeah. I said, go away. You just got wrapped, man. Go away, man. Move. Next morning he comes with his brethren's yeah, gloved up. Yeah. For next, but it, I thought it was gonna be next round. He's like, so what are we do now? We continue this or we squashing this? <laughs> I was like, brother, you just got moved to. If you wanna continue, you can move to. If you wanna squash this, I don't mind squashing this. You know, I, nothing happened to me. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? We squashed it. We moved on from that. And then they, they moved me to Brixton after that. I didn't want to go to Brixton, bro. Everyone wants to leave Stockton. I didn't want to leave. Why? Because I had a gym job. I wanted to be as the best I could be when I come out. I know yeah, Brixton's yeah. got loud, this and that. Rah, rah, rah. Now these times, I don't even want none of that. I'm at a stage here where I've got six months left here. You just want to I chill. I just want Put my mind set old. I want Jimmy out. I don't want none of that. They didn't. They accepted me not to go the first time. But then a month later, they came again. They said, well, take your gym job if you don't go. You'll be stuck here with nothing. I said, cool. Brixton it is then. But Brixton's the locals now. I, I fucking know everyone there. I've gone there. Everything's patterned. Everyone's got everything. And the problem about Brixton is the double cell situation. Because every cell is a double cell. And, and you need to be high risk. To and they just cell. took my high risk off me. Yeah. In Stockton. They do reviews to see if you're still high risk. And I was pissed. So I had to play the game again. First year I banged up with one brother called Jay, yeah? He was calm and rare, but brother, the snoring was destroying my life. <laughs> I'm wearing earplugs and he's snoring and I can hear his snore. Bro, it's not a joke. It's like a... <laughs> 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 it sounds like... It's not even sound like a snore, bro. It sounds like a hoover. Some crazy sound effects. So I'm not going to lie. Yeah, anyways, I told him, yo, yo, we need... You go... He has an uncle in the wing. I said, brother, please go move in your uncle's cell. I'm keeping this as a single cell. I'm not accepting no one. I'm going to go through this route again. Yeah? But they allowed me and it, it was pestering me every week when new people came in, yeah? I was the wing rep in it, so I, I helped people in induction. Yeah, yeah. They all kept saying, you need to bang out. So I was like, nope, 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 nope. Until the last two weeks, yeah? So I've done four months here. Bro, this is the story you need to hear. Bro, in the last two weeks, yeah? In the last two weeks, they tried, they tell you, you're moving to A wing firstly, yeah? I said, but I'm the wing rep here. Why are you moving me on my last two weeks? What? And you're like, you're going into a double cell with, on, with someone. I said, no, no, no. I'm staying on my own in the cell that I'm on now. And there's nothing you lot can do about it. The, the guy didn't like me. The SO is like, are you sure about that? Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. But they come 20 deep. I was like, oh my God, bro, please don't catch a charge just before you're going to get released. You know what I'm trying to say? It's not so working. I'm not banging faces now. In my head, I'm saying this is wrestling and grappling. Yeah, yeah. I'm not taking a risk of banging someone in the face. So a man's grappling them, this and that, ray, 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 yeah? For a good half an hour, they couldn't handcuff me. But that messed me up. Because you see when they're trying to handcuff me and I'm forcing them not to, yeah? My tissue, my muscle and tissue got torn a long distance. Because you're straining all your muscles, Until isn't this it? day, it's fucked. Till this day, bro, it hasn't healed. It's not going. It's because the way that I was um, straining myself, yeah? Not letting them cuff me and rare, rare, rare. I fucked my arm up. They tried to throw me into a double cell, yeah? Literally, they had me on the floor. My legs folded, my arms folded, yeah? And one by one, they was leaving the cell. They had the biggest one of all of them on top of me, yeah? And he's like, is everyone out? Is everyone ready? When I release him, make sure you lot lock him, yeah? They would, it's like, looking like I was a beast, yeah? As soon as he took the handcuffs off, he's ran out the cell. I ran towards the door quickly and he slammed it in my face. I was angry. I was like, you put me with him, yeah? All right, cool. Bang. <laughs> Straight away, bro. 
Shit, I was angry, bro. Shit, I <laughs> that poor I you, bro. That poor you, yeah, bro. What did he do? Nothing, but I'm sorry. They keep doing this to these people. You know? what <laughs> they, they keep doing yeah, it, yeah? What, but what they did there is not allowed in their policy. They're not allowed to. When someone's talking about a so in a settlement, you're not allowed to throw them in with someone. No, I hear that. Yeah? And in the stage of a Ben Up, which they call Ben Up, and then, come on, bro. What type of, what type of joke is that? Someone's got poo straight away. They've opened the door again. They've come bend me up again. Rare, rare, rare. They took me to the segregation, yeah? But it was full. There was no space for me. Like, what can we do, man? You've got two weeks left. Like, rare, 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 this and that. You know you can get a charge for punching him in his face. Should we go down that road? Yeah, but why are you not playing with me? They're like, listen, let's have a sit down and a proper convo and start again. They're like, we don't have space for a single cell. We get people coming every week. We don't have the space for it. You've got two weeks left. Okay, like, can you at least pick someone you like to bang up with? And pick a cell and I will kick someone out of that cell and get you have it. Yeah. yeah. I was like, all right, I'll compromise. But they kind of blackmailed me. They told me we'll charge you for oh. punching him if you don't rare, rare, rare. And I'm thinking, Rams, you've got two weeks left. Just bang up with someone for two weeks. You'll go home it's and you'll minor. never see this shit again. I'm walking on wing, walking in. I see one new that I like. I was like, brother, you want to bang up with me? He said, yeah, I'll leave my cell, mate. Come here. you got two weeks left. No problem. I'll do that for you. I picked a cell that I liked, a proper cell at the top on the corner. And they put me in there for two weeks. Bro, on the last day, the guy told me, the one that bent me up, the one that don't like me, he's like, you're not getting released till 12. 8.30, you go in the holding room, but it's up to 12. They, can, they literally had me in there for four hours, yeah, waiting to get released. How spiteful are they? Just to be bastards. Proper spiteful. My brethren, I, I love him, bruv. When, when they opened the door, he had a zoot, yeah, and he blew it in his face. He went... <sighs> that screw's face. I told him to do that, innit? Mm -hmm. Yeah? He's like, what are you going to do? I was like, bro, chill out, bro. If I just come out, don't do them things that I'm playing. Good cop, bad cop, you know? I got released, bro. It was the best day of my life. 100%, bro. Here's the thing. They say if you look back in jail, yeah, and you look back here, it's bad luck. Yeah, I don't believe in all of that, yeah, but I still didn't look back here. But the problem was, yeah, I left my license condition paper at the inside the reception where they give you your stuff when you get released. Mm -hmm. So we had to drive back quickly. It was like 15 minutes away just to go get that. That's important. You take that to probation with you, innit? And I need to get for probation for 2 p.m., but these idiots got me out at 12. So I was kind of rushing. And if you miss that, it's a problem. Yeah, you're fucked. You get, go back in same day if you miss that. I swear down. So we rushed back, got the pay. I had to go all the way back into the prison. I had to grab my thing and come out. So I'm thinking, yo, I did look back. This is If this is true, then this is a mad thing. But alhamdulillah, that's How not the case. How long license for? i got four years license left to do. Okay. I've got three years and a bit now left. Can't go, no holidays, nothing. I haven't flew out for like six years now, like f for five years nearly now. Minor, bro. It is what it is. It's not even minor. My nan's dying right now back home, bro. I want to go see her. My family different. are all there right now. I've been trying. You appeal, I, I have. I have. The thing is, yeah, these people changed me around. I got a hundred text messages to them. No replies. They're meant to call me once a month. For two months, I ain't heard from them. That can even get me in trouble. I drove all the way to the place, yeah, to mm -hmm. ask them what's going on. They're like, your probation worker's in hospital. Rare, rare, rare. It's like, one of you could have called me and told me. Said this to and me. I was like, I've been trying to get, make this appeal to go to go back home to go see my nan. They're like, oh, sorry about that, Ray, Ray, Ray. You're not really, a, you're not classified as high risk. So there is a possibility. Yeah. They're like, we'll run the application. I was like, but this should have been a time ago. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm happy she's still alive. But any day she could go now, you know. And I want to see her for one last time. I want to see my nan. I love her. I ain't seen her in 10 years. Right, that's a long time as well. She looks exactly like my mom. She's like my mom, you know. I love man and I miss her. But hopefully that comes through. Inshallah. Inshallah. So yeah, anyways. So I've come out now on my first day. The man them all took me to Westfield. They all bought me like crepes, tracksuits, clothes, this and that. And you know what I like about the people that came and got me? They all put money together in an envelope and gave it to me. You know? Like, so I'm good. Like, these, these are the people that I will speak on the phone to. Like, you know, like... like brothers. Proper brothers. Jail. Yeah, like he's back. one of them. Fucking a few others. Like my brother Moss, big up Moss, Axe, Cheyenne, that um Naf. These are the people that come and got me, you know, and they put bread together and they, they looked after me when I came out still. But yeah, we went Westfield, got some gums, and then these are wanted to eat. But my mom cooked and she invited us over in it. And I still want to see my mom, you know? They're like, go get a steak and then go to your mom just now. I was like, cool, we I don't want to do, I just want to go home. You know what I'm yeah, there? You just, just so want to chill. Quickly go to the restaurant, they bought man's they whatever, boom, boom. Like, yo, I was just rushing the whole time there. I want to go home, man. I've gone to my yard. Yeah. Listen to this, yeah. I'm driving down my road, yeah. I, my little brother was down here when I left him, yeah. Yeah. Like literally down there, yeah. I see at the top. He's he's at the, apparently he was waiting at the top of the road for two hours waiting to see me. Yeah. He's just standing there. He's my height now. He's big, dolo. Yeah. 
Like he took after me. I can't lie. He trains and everything. I trained him from when he was a kid. I'll show you a video on my phone after, yeah. From when he was small, banging the pads and this and that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't recognize him. I said, "Who's this guy that looks similar to me? <laughs> this guy looks like a spitting image of me when I was 15." I'm like, "Who's this guy?" Yeah, yeah. And look, he's looking at me. I said, "Yo, stop the car, stop the car. I think that's my brother." I was like, "Yo, da -da -da -da, his name." He's like, is that you? I'm like, is that you? He's like, yeah. I was like, come here, man. Give him a hug, this and that. I'm like, jump in the car. We drove to my mom. My mom's outside the door. Bob, she was shredded. So much tears. She, and happiness, you know. She shredded so, she was crying. I hugged her. Everyone was just recording and this and that. Like, it was, it was, a, it was a good moment. Like, even though I was sad that she cried, yeah. She was proper tearing up. I'm not going to lie. Like, proper tearing Bro, up. Seeing your mom like that, yeah. That in itself isn't that enough for you to never ever ever go back, Bob. That because it don't matter how I can't big do that to my mom again. My mom lost her health when I went in jail. Listen, we she, all she suffered here. more than me. We all think we're big bad gangsters, whatever on the roads, X, Y, and Z. Yeah, but when you see your mom and your mom's crying, that it, if you don't get upset seeing your mom cry, you're not a man. That's what I say to people. You got so many people say, "Oh yeah, man, it is what it is. It is, bro." I no. can't trust people that are like that, though. Bro, so if you, people don't respect their mom and they, and they're disrespectful to their mom, I cannot trust you. Nah, if you can't respect the woman that gave birth exactly. to you, I then who fuck. who can you trust? Exactly. That says a lot about you. I can never trust a man or a woman that doesn't have respect for their mother. And yeah, look, I've gone home now. They had food. The family, friends are all there. All my brethren are there. Like it was a good day. I can't lie. Like it was good to be around family, the good peoples. Like everyone was there, was chilling all night, fun, laughing. Everyone's busting jokes. Right, right. It was actually a, a very good day. I can't lie. I, I did enjoy that day. Now, reality kicks in now. Now I'm starting to think, okay, what am I gonna do for money? How am I gonna? These times I wanted to marry a certain someone as well. Yeah, well, it didn't turn out. It didn't work out. I'm not. I don't want to give any light to that right now. Yeah, but I was trying, bro. Wallahi, I was trying. I, I applied for many jobs. They all rejected me. CRB check, criminal record, criminal record, criminal record, criminal record. I was thinking, why even delivery companies, bro? None of them was accepting me. Like, things like that. I'm thinking, what's going on? Am I going to actually get a job? Am I going to do something? And then one of my family friends gave me a job. Uh, £1,000, five days a week for a month, which was, that's minimum, below minimum wage. But that's like four quid an hour. That is a joke. That's dead, that's dead. I, I, I started working for my man and then, I learned a lot of things because it was state agency. So I learned a lot about properties, this and that. Right, right, right. It was a good experience. And I did learn a lot about selling properties. And I did sell a few. You know, you got, he gave me commission, 1,500 1, for um, selling up, not getting a property to buy. Like someone invested. Yeah, yeah. And then that was, that was the only like good commission I had, you know. Uh, apart from that, the, the pay was rubbish. And I got fired anyways. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. He just didn't get any much. He couldn't afford to pay me that grand a month. No Fair more, enough. Which was actually messed up because that's below minimum wage. You can't even afford. Anyways, everything happens for a reason. Now I'm sitting there like, what do I do? <laughs> what am I going to do? Because like, uh, during that time, it must have been very, very easy. A lot of people around you trying to put you back into the bad. Like, yeah, a lot of bad. people were offering me. Like, see me, if I went back to that life here, yeah, I could go even bigger. Like the people that, I, like they, I got. Every, I had a phone call. Yeah, they said to me, "Just make a one phone call, and you get sixteen grand." Yeah, I said, "Get the hell out of here! Do not even ever give me that option, or do not even talk to me about that." And furthermore, delete my number. He's like, "No, I'm just thinking about you." I said, "No, you're not. Yeah. You see what my plans are out here. Yeah, I don't want money in any illegal, bad way possible. I'd rather be broke." Yeah, then go back to my old life because sitting in jail is a fucking joke. Yeah, slow money is better than no money. Hundred percent. That's what I always say. But then, the person that I was uh, supposed to get married to didn't work out. Yeah, but we never had double standards. So when I was, I started TikTok at this stage. Yeah, like in February. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But like, I'd only go live with one guy. There was this one guy in Australia. He was in jail for fifteen years. Yeah, he was still in jail. He was in deportation center. They were allowed to have phones. So I used to go on his lives only. I used to sit there and chat to him, chat to him and try to help him with his mental health, this and that, rare, rare, rare. Yeah. But when we broke up, I started doing battles like I was talking about, like females, everyone, mix and matching, rare, rare, rare. I met one one brother that I knew from the past in Speaker's Corner. Yeah, his name's Maudine. You you probably yeah, yeah, see him on internet. Yeah. Maudine. I see Maudine, me and him was chatting, rare, rare, rare. We clicked a little, you know. Uh, one day he had some problems. People was going to his house. He needed somewhere to stay. I had a hotel booked here. Yeah? I said, come with me, we stay the night. He was on live all night. 
I was getting follows after follows after follows after follows. Yeah. I do my ticket. He gave me a little boost. Like, he put my name out yeah, there. Yeah. Like, for people to see. Like, big up to you. I'm not going to say rare, rare, rare. But then, it doesn't matter who you... If people don't like you, they're not going to like you. And then I started doing my own thing. But like I said, yeah, you can get shout-outs from anyone, yeah? If people don't like you, they won't They won't follow you. They won't watch you. 100%. Yeah? But if you people do like you, then you're, you're good. I, I built a community on TikTok. A positive community. Where... Oh, my God. Yeah, I built a positive community where I'm trying my best, like my utmost best to not get involved in the dramas on TikTok. Because there's a lot of TikTok dramas, yeah? And that's messing people's mental health up. People are watching, young people, this and that. I try to keep my side here as a safe space where people can come together, we can chat, we can have a nice, you know, if you chill, have some, like if, chill, some, if, if your day's bad, you can come in my life and I might cheer you up a little, this and that, rare, rare. and if they choose to send me gifts and support me in that way, that's their choice, you know? And a lot of them have supported me. Last week, I got number one on the weekly rankings, which I never thought I'd get. But that comes with a lot of hate. Of course. That you, people were saying, oh, we can't have a gangster at number one. Who's a gangster? Mm-hmm. I'm a human being. I ain't no gangster, bro. I ain't no fucking gangster. If I, well, you want me to be one, I can, but I ain't no gangster. Do you know what I'm saying? These are the things people were saying. But my peoples, my team, and big shout out to Merv. There's this brother called Merv, yeah? I was in jail with him in Wayland, yeah? He found me on TikTok. But hear this. He told me, I had a dream about you before I saw you on TikTok, yeah? Wow. This guy has helped out so much, bro. He spent 40 grand last week, yeah? Last two weeks, yeah? From his pocket to give me that boost at number one. See, bro? Don't forget you, bro. He gave me that boost, yeah? He nice. goes to me, I saw potential in you from the first time I saw you on live. He's like, I saw potential in you and I would never do this for anyone else and I want to help you and me and you are going to get up there together in a legit way. We're, we're going to start podcasts. We're going to do this. We're going to get you merch. Rah, rah, rah. He's had my back and he supported me, yeah? Cool. And then out of nowhere, there's a, a one brother called Ads that's seen in Dubai. He done just as much as Merv did. So the, the, my point of this thing, yeah, people are actually coming out and giving me that push. But what's the moral of this whole story? Bro, six months I came out, nothing was working for me. Yeah, this was God testing me. Look, this is the door, this is the door, yeah? The good door, yeah. the door that opens for you, yeah? Some people did this, look, test, pass, test, pass, test, pass, test, pass, test, pass, test. They're this close to the door, yeah? And they move. And then they say, fuck you, I'm going back to my old way. Little they know the door was just there, just a bit more of patience. And that's what I did, basically. Da -da -da -da. And I was stuck here for a little while. Bam. Allah opened the door for me. And now there's only upwards from here. There's no going back. There's only up. There's only good things are going to happen. There's only going well, up. Look, there's the no looking the day, back. Like no I said, when I first met you, bro, you're, you're not that same guy that obviously... Listen, I never knew you back in the day, obviously, yeah? Uh -huh. The people that probably knew you are going to say a completely different story. They're going to probably say he's a madman, X, Y, and Z. Bro, to me, you're a good brother. Like, that's all I can say. You're, I you're, you're, you're a good guy and... I'm not even saying it because you're on the show or because there's many people who come on the show who I leave and I'm like, bro, fuck that geezer. I'd never want to see him. <laughs> I'm being real. Listen, that's one thing about me. I'm real on my podcast. No, I respect that, my but bro. But when I meet good people, I have to respect it. Like, I don't tell people they're good people if they're not. I'll just say, yeah, thanks for coming on the show. See you later, bro. No, no, but I rate that. You're good. You're, one thing I respect about you is you're real. There's many people who come on here and tell a story just to get some clout, which, bro, your story... You've played your story down because you don't want people to think, oh, look, what he, like he's a gangster, this, that, yeah, this, yeah. that. Whereas other people will come in and tell the raw story. They'll say, oh, fuck what my family think. I want clout, I want clout, I want clout. You've done a complete opposite. You've come in, you said, bro, respectfully, I can't say X, Y, and Z because of my family. I just want to make it properly. Let's do a good podcast. And I respect that because you could have come on in and done a completely different oh, thing. Jazakallah, bro. My bro, is there anything else you want to say to the community? I do, I do. I really do. All I want to say is, yeah, especially to the younger generation, I beg you, I beg you, think twice. I beg you, think twice, yeah? Literally, think twice before you do things. Don't listen to drill music. Why? Ask me why. Go on, why? The words and the things they say, it goes into your head and you bring that into reality. Most of these guys you see when they're doing drill music, they're doing nothing what they say. I'm telling you, but That's they're true. making you do That's it. True. And this is to the youth, not to the adults. They're making you do it. You're listening. Yo, ching man down. Da, da, da. Yeah, I'm rolling with my ting now. What are you looking at? 37 years in jail. 
30 years in jail, 25 years. Don't, listen, you have a life ahead of you, yeah? Appreciate life. You only live once, but then you live again. What you do in this dunya, yeah? Well, what's the word? What do you say? How do you put this into it? What do you, you know mean? What, is it, what happens Whatever you're you do judged in this on? World will determine, determine the afterlife. Yeah, where you get in the afterlife. So think about what you do, guys. You know, I've made so many mistakes, but Allah is the most merciful. God is very merciful. You know, Bro, you know saying what you said is mad, yeah? Because the other day, yeah, I was in a car and I put on a prayer, yeah? Listen, driving in a car, I put it on, yeah, and I swear to you, bro, from being all jumpy, having road rage, X, Y, and Z, bro, you're just calm. Exactly. You're just exactly chilled and you're driving. I'm happy people, you said that. People are cutting you up and you're like, eh, fuck, that man, man, that man. And then don't even care. even when you're about to have road rage and you're listening, you're like, Wait, don't swear, Mikey. 100%. You can't swear when that's on. Don't do this. And then when you get, you, you get in the habit of doing it, Bro, your life is so much more peaceful. When you're listening to, I'm going to shoot this guy, go do this, go rob that. Bro, you know. Your brain's mad. That's what, this is the point I'm trying to make right 100%, now. 100%, bro. That's what like, I'm saying. Yeah, when I was doing the rankings last week, I got heart palpitations, you know? Because mm -hmm. I was thinking number two might catch up. This, da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah? I went, I went, I left my mods in the in the live and I played Quran. I muted myself. I played Quran and I just sat down. My heart got better. Bro, do you hear what they say about the azan? Yeah. So whenever you pray, whenever you hear the azan, yeah, your body, your it, so they've done it. It was like a scientific thing, yeah. yeah? There's a they're, lot of them. Scientific. They attached it all to you, like your heart rate monitor, X, Y, Z, whatever, yeah. And your heart rate or everything to do with it does not change. It's exactly Subhanallah. the Did same. You hear that, guys. When you do like when you listen to rock music, for example, your heart rate increases. When you listen to drill music, it increases this amount. When you listen listen to the azan or any prayer, nothing changes. It has no impact on the body at all. And that's that's definitely even been scientifically proven. That is, it's bro, videos and an online. another thing, bro, when you go in sujood, when you when you prostrate your head to the floor in prayer, it's been scientifically proven. It's the yeah, best thing for heart. That it, yeah, it, 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 it decreases your depression. Bro, it's, the, it's, it's the, something in your head here. It's the only action you can do where your head is, low, is lower than your heart. Yeah, yeah. It's the only yeah, action yeah, you can put yeah, yourself right. in where your head is lower than your heart. And you know, listen, I reverted last year, yeah? And when you're starting to hear this shit, bro, it's like magic. It's like, how is this possible? <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? It like, is, though. You're right. You you're sit right. there and you're you right. experience these things, even down to just random thing I'll throw out there is, I don't want to go on some Muslim rant and all that, yeah? But one other thing where in the Quran, it says the moon was split in half. Yeah. Bro, NASA proved the, the moon was, was split in half. half. Yeah. Tell me facts. it's not real. No, it's facts. Bro, it's... it's, it's Bob, the, 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 the biggest scientist in the world, the number one scientist, I forgot his name, admitted that everything they have learned in, in, in science, Islam said it before. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Yeah, he, he admitted, admitted that. it. And then they try to hide that, that yeah, what yeah, he said. And then even the funny... You know the, the two C's? You know when the two yeah, C's yeah, meet but they never cross? Yeah. That's in the Quran, bro. Of course. The fact that ants, even the Quran, there's a whole verse about ants. You know, ants communicate with each other. Yeah. You know, they're just like us. You know, they bury their, their ants when they die. When Swear down. Die. Yeah, they bury it. They communicate. They work together. Don't you see when they're rolling and yeah. they got things on their back? They're just like humans, bro. They're just like us. They think like us. They do similar things we do. That was written in the Quran. Scientists only found that out after. Bro, it's listen. When you, when you, but like I said, yeah, you only got to where you got to right now because of Allah. Exactly. You can't, you can't think no one else. I, 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 How many times you heard me say that in this podcast? You've been saying it. For, forget about the podcast. Off the podcast, you said it as well. See, and all praises be to Allah. Only. That, that's that's why you're here. And you know, every single time I've ever done a podcast with someone who's been prison or done a long stretch or something, they always say it's all because of Allah. That's the only reason I'm out today. Subhanallah. You have to acknowledge it though. And you have to let people know, especially when there's a lot of people watching. You can't dismiss it. You know what I'm trying to say? 100%. My brother. Listen, and on that note, thank you for coming on the show, my brother. Anytime, I'll see you again soon. Guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And go follow my man on TikTok. Let's make sure he's number one every single week <laughs> from not, when this podcast comes not out. They're going to like it. <laughs> people are going to hit that. Rams.aki. Only if you knew the real Rambo.